welcome to my youtube channel in this video i'll be showing you how to join a linux desktop linux ubuntu desktop 20.04 to a windows domain server so here i have a domain server you can see that as by domain name as the kelv global dot com and a dc001 so we'll be joining this device actually it's an ubuntu linux ubuntu operating system to uh domain controller so first of all we want to actually make sure that our network is properly configured so if i go to my network settings here here you can see we have our wired network so let me go to settings so on our settings you can see that the computer name so if i go to network and i go to settings here you can see we have actually configured my ip address i actually use the manual ip address and make sure that the dns are properly configured that you can actually connect or ping your device so if i go to my domain server and i open the command prompt cmd and i try to ping l01 here you can see i'm able to actually ping that device because without you being able to ping that device probably you may not be able to join this linux to the domain server so what we need to do right now is to actually open a command prompt so we're going to do the following i'm just going to enter control alt and then t so this will actually open the command prompt on this device so uh, we need to actually enter the following first of all we want to set the right host name for this machine so i'm going to do the following sudo host name just enter it properly ctl and then we're going to set the host name to l01 dot global.com and then hit enter so it's going to require you to enter your password because you need to be an admin to be able to do this so let me just enter my password and hit enter and here you can see then if i want to confirm that everything is properly configured i need to just enter the following host name um, ctl here you can see that it says the static host name is actually l01.calglobal.com and as a computer the icon name and here you can set the version operating system that's the version and also you can see it's an architect actually it's, um, it's actually 64 bit so nestle we want to you need to actually check if for if your network is properly configured that you can actually ping your server and also i want to actually install the kind of install an up update on this operating system like the linux operating system because without the right updates your device may not be able to join the domain so we need to actually check if there are any available updates we're going to check to see if we need some extra update that needs to be installed so it's trying to actually check on the website of um, ubuntu to see if we need to okay you can see that some package have been downloaded right now okay so 190 90 packages can be upgraded run at least upgrade to see them so but first of all what i want to do right now is to do the full i want to install the following sudo apt i'm going to install the remd so it's trying to download the package So you can see that the process is trying to actually install all the package. So the installation just gets completed. So next, what we need to do is actually to try and discover our domain name. So I'm going to enter the following. I'm going to enter sudo rem discover, just enter that properly, discover, I'm going to do the following kelvglobal.com so here you can see that um this is actually the rem name that's a domain name kelvglobal.com and you can see that i think a rem name is kelvglobal.com the domain name is um, kelvglobal.com it's configured it says no so what we want to do next is the following so we want to actually try to see which options we have to with the rem to actually join this device if i do just to help you can see all the different options we have to join this device to a domain controller so now i want to actually use the following command i'm going to use the sudo so i'm going to use i'm going to use the ram command and then join so you which is actually user's name is going to be me so there's a kelvin johnson and 
go to my domain name mind you kelvin johnson johnson should be a member of the domain admin and then hit enter so you need to provide a password for kelvin johnson so i'm just going to enter the password and then click enter so right now it's trying to actually it says installing necessary package the SSD, ssd tools the adc li ssd and some other tools which are actually required to join this device to the domain controller so let's just wait for some seconds for this to get completed and then we can actually if i go let me go back again to my domain controller and i go to active directory and I do a refresh, you can see at this moment we are not seeing any device in computer. So it's, just, it's still trying to actually join. So let's just wait for some seconds and then we can actually confirm if this device is joined to a domain controller or not. So now you can see that the installation necessary package just gets completed. So let me go back again to my domain controller and when i do a refresh okay you can see that this, uh, the linux device just get added to our domain controller so what i need to do right now is we need to actually restart our device to complete this installation so i will just let me just go to restart here let me just power off this device i'm going to power off this device and then we can actually restart our machine so the device is trying to restart let's just wait for some seconds So now you can see that our device just gets restarted. So to actually log on to as a domain user, you don't need to because right now you're trying to log me on as a local user. So you need to actually create, click not listed and you will need to enter your fully qualified domain name. Like for example, it's going to be for Kelvin Johnson at kelvglobal.com. So if I go back again to my domain controller and on our here, here users and that's my actually my name kelvin johnson if i go to account you can see that the fully qualified domain name that's a kelvin.johnson at kelvglobal.com so let me go back into my linux device and now hit enter so here you need to provide your password and then hit enter you can see it will actually try to locate and see if your name is correct and that is johnson here you can see that's my name johnson if i go back again to my domain controller you can see that's my name johnson so thank you very much for taking your time to watch this video my name is kelvin johnson let me just enter my password and log on to this device and please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel for more it videos bye